Yeah, they do. I mean, they've had seven 20 win seasons since the 2013 14 season. No NCAA tournament wins. They won the conference a year ago and then lost in their tournament. NCAA tournaments are goal. Wow, how about a start? Jeremy Roach. Sam Houston, like Baylor, is one and one on the season. Edgecombe down low to, uh, to Norchad O'Meara. Wasn't sure if that was a floater or if that was intended to be a pass. A bunch of threes, and they shoot them at a 47% clip. Pretty impressive. Flop down low. There is O'Meara again. O'Meara on the assist from Edgecombe, and the bucket is good. DJ Edgecombe, three assists already here in the first half. For that guy, there's a three by Edgecombe, and he buries it. Starting to say he can do it all, and we see that right there. Joshua John Wunu to the Baylor bench. Jalen Celestine is on for Baylor. Turnaround shot blocked by O'Meara. Big time block. Bears run it the other way. Right to Rowe. Ten of those made field goals. Eight have been assisted. And that's something the Bears have needed to work on. Getting assist numbers up helps when you're making shots. Oh, nice pass. Jeremy Roach spots Joshua John Wunu for the block. Back outside to Edgecombe. 13 to shoot for Bears. We lead it by 13. Edgecombe will drive. Look at that. Silky smooth drive for the lay-in. Knocked out of his hands. Goes flying. Sam Houston flying the other way, and they turn it over. Here's none. Right side, three. It's good. Yeah, the Bears at 39. We still have 7.20 to go in the first oh, wow. half. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Alley oop from Jeremy Roach to Norchad O'Meara for the flush. Yeah, I don't know how you, you lose O'Meara. Fenister gives it on the baseline, and the shot is swatted away by V.J. Edgecombe. And what an effort by Edgecombe. He was the guy leading the fast break. At least he was the runner. At some point, those threes are going to go, and it was a big lead for the Bears earlier this half, and now it's been cut down to 12, making 14. <laughs> shape to get it, the ball probably still in the cylinder when he got his hands on it. Sam Houston back in that. Wow, wow. look at that alley -oop. That was Jaden Nunn to VJ Edgecombe for the flush. One minute to go before halftime. Baylor 50, Sam Houston 35. Roach in the paint, outside to Nunn. Could it be another one? Not this time, but it's tipped in by Omir. Nunn. Across the timeline on the pass to Wright. Now four seconds to go. Here's Rob Wright. Scoop wow. it up and in at the halftime buzzer. I think they talked about defense in that Baylor locker room at halftime. I think they did. They should have if they didn't. But I, knowing Coach Drew, they, they're going to have to defend this year better than they have the last couple. So Bearcats inbounding. There's a ski steal on the perimeter by V.J. Edgecombe, and he is fouled by Fenister. The other options in the offense never had a paint touch, really. Just a quick three from Edgecombe, and he wants a better possession. Sacco trying to wheel his way into the paint. A little over three minutes in, and he's yet to score after getting 17 in the first half. Okay, none. A three is good. If he can still walk. Brennan Burns puts the shot up from the free throw line. Bears run out. Shot is good by Rob Wright with a foul. You know, and it looked like it may have been ill-advised. That's a season high for none with 17. Oh, man! Oh, man! What a follow by B.J. Edgecombe! Jaden Nunn sitting at 17 points in the game. Nice pass underneath. Opted for the assist there by Nunn to Joshua John Warner. And he is so good at that. Keep an eye on that. Roach, runner, nice looking shot by the senior Jeremy Roach. You know, they just keep running those guys in. Baylor does. That's Roach. Edgecombe can do that. Uh, had time in the NBA. And just to have him back, part of the fold is great. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Another alley oop and a flush by V.J. Edgecombe. There you go, good. Rebounded by Davidson Hubbard. Minute 45 to play. There's a 99, make it 100. And a foul. And it's Omar again, back-to-back -back baskets for the Bears. You know, he was a really good player 
before he got here, take a look at that three. It was catch and shoot. 